this movie. Your traditional AirPod that now gives you the option to test your hearing, have noise protection. It goes into the ear like that. And even without it connected to my... Apple recently released um, a software that's com compatible with all of their Apple products. So you need to have either an iPhone or an iPad to be able to get the benefits of this hearing health feature within the device. Um, so it allows you to actually go through the steps of checking or screening your hearing. Um, it'll take those tests and actually plot it along a hearing graph that looks like an audiogram. And through that, you can firstly adjust the sound quality of the devices to actually improve any kind of streaming media, streaming music, streaming through your phone or through your iPad. Um, additionally, it also has a hearing protective mechanism within the, within the uh, AirPod Pro 2. Amplified hearing. You know, we're all wearing these types of earbuds anyway. So now the FDA has authorized them to have the software to become an over-the-counter hearing aid. So it's just mainstream. And anybody who is concerned about a little bit of stigma and they wanna just look like everybody else, well, you will, because we all have a set of these in our pockets. Or a behind-the-ear device, very similar to... over-the-counter hearing aids will only meet the needs for those with uh, mild to moderate hearing loss. So with those with more complex hearing losses, uh, severe hearing losses, hearing losses that have some form of medical um, concerns attached to it, uh, prescription hearing aids is really the way to go. Mild to moderate hearing loss differs from higher degrees of hearing loss in that, you know, they may still feel like they can hear some things and some environments are okay, but um, in most of their day-to-day -day life, so in social settings, in areas where things are less than ideal, they may struggle. Um, hearing aids or over-the-counter hearing aids that in some, again, like an earpiece or, or a um, headphone kind of situated into the ear like that. Every day I learn about more and more um, over-the-counter hearing aids that are being released. Um, I think there are some notable companies or notable differences between companies. So as you're shopping or as you're looking for what device is going to work best for you, some things to consider are things like style, you know, do you want something behind the ear? Do you want something in the ear? So there are a variety of options, even in the over-the-counter realm. Um, some options have Bluetooth uh, connectivity, so either direct streaming or Bluetooth as an app to make adjustments. Um, so there, there's so many options, and then even within price range. So really, what I tell patients or for those that are considering either over-the-counter or prescription devices, I try to tell them to get the technology that fits within their budget and choose the best one that is considered affordable to them. But the style looks very similar, just potentially not as many inside the ear very well, also considered an invisible in the canal device. Style, the same model. Um, there is one newer model that kind of also looks like the earbud that has...